what I've been looking for my whole life since I can remember is a passion. You know, just something I can be extremely passionate about. And photography, uh, the subway, uh, this is my passion. And the funny part, and I tell everyone this, is that 10 months ago, prior to starting this account, I hated the New York City subway and I knew nothing about photography. So I think life is very interesting if you allow it to be, if you stay open um, and see what it can present to you. And it could be the, the last thing you expect, but that could be the answer. Um, this city will present it to you and you'll know it and you'll jump into it. Monday through Friday, nine to, nine to well, actually eight to six, I go to, go to work, I'm a lawyer, professional. And then outside that, all my time goes into this account. The balance is, is definitely something I'm learning as this account grows, um, because it is time consuming, but it just comes with time, it comes with experience, and, and it's just uh, it's something you learn as you progress. So I'm from San Diego, uh, hence the, uh, the skateboard, brought that with me. What I didn't know coming to New York was the component that it would extract from me, which is the creative component. What I've discovered about myself since moving to New York, and I think what everyone does, is their create, you know, their creativity, right? This this inner muse that they have that sometimes we don't know if it exists, but when you get to the city, it just pulls it out. I, I think for me, really what it comes down to is I love to create something that's my own and then look at it and say, hey, this is the result of my work, my imagination, um, and of course help from other people, but I love creating things. Um, it's just such a interesting place because you have all walks of life down on the subway. You have the rich, you have the poor, you have all different religions, you have all different races. But when we get here on the subway, we forget all those things. We're just one person kind of traveling together on this, on this transportation system, getting from point A to point B, and there's this flow, and there's this energy that we all tap into, and I think that's a huge part why I love it so much is because it, it really just, it, it's a unique environment that has this energy that, that I can't find anywhere else. So when I started the account the first four or five months, I actually would shoot on my iPhone and initially, and then I bought a Canon Rebel, decent camera, um, and it was all self-taught. Uh, you know, I pretty much shot in automatic mode for everything I did. Uh, and I still remember on one collaboration, they were like, hey, uh, you know, is the ISO too high or too low? I'm like, what's the ISO? <laughs> kind of long story short, what I did is told my friend Ray Isla, she's an artist. I said, hey, I want to bring you down to the subway and I want you to perform. I want you to tell people, hey, I don't want any money. Just take this positive energy and pass it on. And then it turned to this point where I got a camera and then I started doing collaborations. And then, you know, at this point it's, it's kind of surreal to where it's, it's grown to, but it makes sense. This is the one unique environment where I think you have polar sides of the spectrum. You have a lot of negativity and a lot of creativity and positivity. You just, depends what you want to look for, you'll find it. I, I think the big thing that I've learned is, and, and I've been on this hunt for a long time, is just don't give up. Keep searching for your passion. If you feel that calling, keep searching because eventually you'll find it. It might take 33 years, which it took for me, but you'll find it. And once you do, and once you sink your teeth into it, there's no better feeling than, than passion.